3.3s. It's just a friendly reminder that, hey, we live <laughs> in earthquake territory still, mm -hmm. but not enough to do a whole lot of damage. Just enough to get your attention. Yeah. Weather-wise, the warmth is going to get your attention over the next couple of days. We're talking near record high temperatures later on this week. 80 degrees for parts of the Bay Area in the month of February. Definitely not normal. It's just an amplification of the same weather pattern that's been trapped in place for the past month or so. Big area of high pressure off the coast getting stronger and stronger. It's a mountain of air that's directing the storm track way up to the north. But as that air is pressing down on us, the air gets compressed and that warms it up. It's being compressed not only by the weight of additional air on top of it, but also by gravity as that air sinks. So we're in for some warm weather as we head through the rest of this week. And that mountain of air on top of us also traps the haze at ground level. So air quality today, maybe not as bad as we've seen it earlier in the winter, but still in the moderate category for most of the Bay Area. A lot of yellow dots on the map, even a few trending towards orange, that unhealthy for sensitive groups range. Doesn't look like this is going to change a whole lot as we head through the next several days. Maybe a little stronger breeze might help us out and stir the atmosphere around, but we're not talking a return to last week's blustery conditions. We are going to see an elevated pollen count, though, in the medium category one more day tomorrow, then into the medium high category for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The top three allergens, alder, birch, and juniper. So if you are sensitive to those, make sure you are well supplied on your allergy medication. You will need it this week. Looking outside, there's that smudge of haze on the horizon as we look out from the Mark Hopkins Hotel. Temperatures are warm right now. 61 degrees in San Francisco is the cool spot. It's 66 degrees still right now in Concord and in Santa Rosa, 65 degrees in San Jose. And we're just getting started with this warm weather pattern. But nighttime temperatures are still going to back off. We're going to end up in the upper 30s and low 40s inland with mid to upper 40s around the bay and along the coast by early Tuesday morning. And then temperatures are going to start warming up. San Francisco is going to climb well into the 60s, even getting close to 70 degrees tomorrow afternoon, likely to exceed 70 degrees beginning on Wednesday. Plenty of hazy sunshine throughout the day. Some patchy fog possible very early in the day, but it's going to be very localized and it's going to dissipate quickly. Santa Rosa warming up into the mid 70s. You're going to be one of the warmer spots in the map by tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures in Concord maybe not quite that warm, but likely to hit or exceed 70 degrees during the afternoon hours tomorrow. And San Jose reaching a little farther up into the low 70s with even warmer temperatures in store by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Let's fill in the rest of the map. Temperatures are going to mostly reach the low 70s. Santa Rosa Again, one of the warmer spots at 76, upper 60s for San Francisco and along the coast. But those numbers are a good 8 to 10 degrees above average. And Wednesday begins the near record high temperature pattern. Let's take a look at Wednesday's forecast temperatures compared to the records for that day. I think we're going to fall a little short of record territory in San Francisco and San Jose, but likely to break a record high temperature. The record for downtown Oakland is 74 degrees, forecasting a high of 76. Getting close in Santa Rosa, and that is not a typo, likely to hit 80 degrees for Santa Rosa. So by Wednesday afternoon, but temperatures well into the 70s for Livermore and Concord, just a little ways off of the records for those for that particular day in those locations. But the warm weather is going to stick around through the rest of the work week. San Jose getting closer to 80 degrees on Thursday and maybe a degree cooler on Friday. More of a cool down as we head into the weekend and early next week. But even the coolest day in the seven day forecast Monday, which happens to be Valentine's Day still brings us temperatures that are about five degrees above normal. The warm spots are going to be inland in the North Bay and in the Santa Clara Valley in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees, but plenty warm for inland parts of the East Bay and even along the coast. High temperatures around 70 degrees Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Definitely not normal for the month of February. We'll take a look at the four-day air quality forecast, take you through the rest of the work week coming up at 530. Okay, thanks, Paul. Still